I came outside because my dog has been barking um, and actually he quit barking like he kept looking out this way he keep he kept looking out here uh, so I thought I'd come out and investigate well I tried to be quiet there were three absolutely beautiful does out here and even though I tried to be quiet I still spooked him but anyway I don't know about you guys but I am absolutely loving this weather uh, there's just something so romantic about it it's like you should have a big old pot of something cooking on your stove or you know having a nice cappuccino or hot tea snuggled up with a book um, but I'll tell you one thing I'm missing my garden even though this is absolutely beautiful you get to come out and see all the wild critters running around uh, we've got some wild turkeys coming about you know in the yard uh, I started feeding them so they're you know they're coming around almost daily Um, you know just the bunnies that are out here running wild these critters just you know come out they don't they don't act like they're scared or anything they just come around and hang out and it's just absolutely beautiful to watch uh, today though I wanted to show you how I propagate my citronella plant or replant my citronella plant it's really gotten out of hand so I thought I would take you inside and show you how I do that just a quick little view of the garden. Oh goodness, look at it. I need to pull these out. These are tomato plants. They need to be pulled out. And here's where we sit. There's some more tomato plants. So I didn't do a fall garden. Where's my flower? My Dollar Tree Tower. And here's the other one. Looks like we've still got some herbs girl. We've got some rosemary here. And these herbs will come back. But I do want to show you that I covered up this cilantro with like just the old shower curtain that I had here. I'll show you guys. The cilantro finally decided to come up kind of when it started cooling off and I thought well I am going to cover that up. I'm having a hard time here. There we go. I decided I'm going to go ahead and cover that up and this has just really kind of been like a greenhouse. Oh there's water on top. But there's my cilantro. I'll throw that back up. It rained and the water just kind of smashed it down, but that looks really pretty. I don't know if you can see how tall this is. It's just kind of gotten out of control. This is a citronella plant, and I don't know about you, but I must have these outside in my garden. They smell fantastic. I believe they're actually geraniums, but this is citronella. Um, you can see it's, I'm going to cut some of these branches that have kind of you know gone haywire here I wanted to show you I also finally planted this cutting that came from my mom's house finally put that in a planter um, I've got my cucumber seeds here uh, I went ahead and cut one open it's been sitting here for a while but it's got big enough to where you know I can cut that open and have those fermenting for a little bit I've got some apple seeds here that um, I've got soaking and I will put those in the fridge after the outer coat comes off got my okra sitting back there I don't know if you can see that sitting back there I'm gonna get the seeds out of there as soon as they're completely dried out I'm trying to keep this in focus as much as possible here but what I'm doing is I'm going to trim probably about right here what I'm looking for are some of these leaves growing out here okay on the sides because I'm going to snip those off well I will just show you let me go ahead and give that a cut you want to make sure your cutters are clean and let's go ahead and trim just right below right below there okay so I'm gonna cut these off I'm gonna trim them off so there's one two there's three this is the part that's gonna go down in the dirt and that's where new roots will grow so let me get a few of these cut off here Well, 
Well, I wasn't sure exactly how many I was going to be able to cut off of there, but I was going to show you that this is what I'm using our, you know, we save our coffee uh, plastic containers. And I, you know, put a few slits down at the bottom. I just have a paper plate, you know, holding the dirt in here for now. I'll probably put a different plate under there because the water will go through. Now these citronella plants like to be kind of dried out in between waterings, but here's another one. I'm going to go ahead and just pull these off. Oops, I tore that too much. Go ahead and pick these off. There we go. Now, I'm just gonna kind of poke a hole right there. I'm gonna bury this really just kind of as deep as possible. And we will kind of put some pressure around that. And there's one. Now these might end up kind of browning a little bit on top when the roots start growing at the bottom. And you can just trim those off. This will grow. And this way I will have many citronella plants to put out in the garden when it's time to put them out there. So I'm just gonna cut these off. Instead of picking those off, I decided to go ahead and cut them from now on since I tore that. And let's see, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and tear that off. We'll see how many we can get in here. I'd say probably about four of them, maybe three. off this is where the roots will grow is you know on these nodes here Let's see how deep I can get that one I'm gonna fill this up with some dirt to the top to make sure those are covered up but I will put these and they don't really require a whole lot of Sun but I'm gonna put these in my shop where it's warm and put them by a window out there you can see I'm just kind of filling that up the rest of the way. Now I've seen people um, trim these down and just you know have a bunch of these and set them in a glass of water and that is sometimes how you will start plants but with this plant you will get more success just putting them directly into the dirt you don't have you know you don't have to do anything you just cut these and stick them in the dirt you can even stick them in the ground outside and they will grow it's really cold here right now and I'm not going to even do that I'm going to set them out in the shop but we're just going to go ahead and continue to cut those and you know put them into the dirt here that's kind of a big one I might just put that right back I'm gonna put this one right back into the pot that I uh, trimmed the plant from now people use citronella for um, mosquito repellent they say that you can pull these leaves off and you know rub around your ankles that'll keep mosquitoes away any kind of flies and things like that I personally love the scent when you walk by and brush it at your in your garden or anywhere you have it sitting out on your deck or whatever and you can smell that citronella it, it just makes me happy the smell is wonderful it's just a happy smell you want these stems to be uh, green you don't want to do the woody ones okay do the green I love having my hands in the dirt. So this is my other pot that I, you know, did the trimmings on. And I am just going to stick this right into, dig a little bit deep here, right into that pot. And I'm going to add some dirt to the top of this. This is growing out just a little bit here. We'll give them just a little bit of water since I just planted them. And like I said, they like to be kind of dried out in between waterings. And they don't require a ton of sunlight. While I have you on here, I thought I would show you my marigold uh, buds here that I picked off um, before it started turning cold. And see, these are just the buds I picked off. I've had them drying in this box for a couple of months, maybe a few. And what we're gonna do is just um, pull these out. I'm gonna put them in a coffee filter today to show you, but these are dried out. And these guys, you just pull these out. These are the seeds. 
Okay, those are the seeds. Marigolds are so easy to grow. I grow them every year for the garden and they deter pests and they're beautiful. But see here how you break them up? I'm just gonna put them into my coffee filter and then when it's time to plant those, you're just gonna sprinkle those in your um, pot of dirt and maybe, you know, sprinkle a light coating on top, water them and they will grow. But that's just all there is to it with your marigold seeds, okay? Another one, we're just gonna pull these out. Maybe kind of carefully. It'd be okay to even drop these in there once you break them up. That'd be fine if they fell in there, no big deal. And then we'll just, like this. That's it. A lot of people will put these seeds in envelopes and put the date on them, which is absolutely fine. I have some like that too, but I like to put mine in this cute little jar that I have from the Dollar Tree. And I like the way it looks, so I just drop those in there. I think it's so pretty. And did you know that you can make um, tea with marigold blossoms? When their blossoms are good, you can make tea with those and it's good for you. They have antioxidants and everything in them. So uh, just FYI there. But I'll just continue doing these flowers and putting my seeds in my little jar. I have to show you guys my cedar. Do you guys have cedar trees? They're a little pesky, but man, they are so pretty. You just stick that in a cup of water and it just brings some greenery into your house. It's another place that I have it sitting here. I've got pine and some pine cones back here, but isn't that pretty? I'll be setting all of these little extra pieces that I have in cups of water everywhere because around the house because I love the smell of them smells so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you give this a try. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.